Galaxy Watch 7 and Watch 7 Ultra have finally been released and I for one am super excited. In the meantime though, I have gone ahead and found over 10 of the best Galaxy watch faces for your new Watch 7 or Watch 7 Ultra on the Play Store today. And one of those watch faces is going to be my new go-to watch face for my Watch 7 Ultra, which is on its way. And to be clear, I have bought this with my own money. I have not been sent it by Samsung. So if you do want my completely impartial, no BS review of the Watch 7 Ultra, make sure you hit the subscribe button now and stay tuned. In the meantime though, let's check out our first Galaxy watch face of the episode, the XD04. 44s simple petal watch face. It's an almost Windows 11 s watch face. Question mark. I don't know what it is that gives me that sort of Microsoft Windows vibe. Perhaps it's the colors. I don't know. But the design and color scheme really caught my eye on this one. It's a really modern and actually relatively minimalist Galaxy watch face. As far as information display goes, you do get your date, steps, battery life, and of course your time in the center there. And they do also have several shortcuts you can customize to your favorite apps like Google Assistant, the camera control app, and even a calculator. As far as customizing options go you are limited compared to the other watch faces in this episode but it does offer three different presets with different bits of information and subtle dial color changes finally that is an always on display option to play with if you do want to preserve some battery life a nice different watch face to kick off the episode and certainly one that's going to look really good and super modern are the new galaxy watch 7 and watch 7 ultra much like our next watch face the minimal sport re53 this is one of many beautifully designed watch faces from the developer's collection and as the name suggests it's a very sporty minimalist design. It's also jam-packed with crucial information including your steps, battery life, weather, date and time in digital and written format along with a reminder bar at the top there. You have a really good set of customization options with this one with over 20 different combinations to play with. I always seem to gravitate towards the orange color choices. I think they're really easy to read on the wrist and this one is definitely my favorite out of all the color choices. The customization options do not stop there though you can add your own complications and app shortcuts to the screen if you so desire last couple of things to point out on this watch face is mostly on an all black background again which will use slightly less battery than some of the busier watch faces from this episode so it will help you keep control of your battery life and i also did just want to appreciate the layout and design of this one i love the battery gauge and especially the animated components on the far right hand side if you do want to grab this watch face there is a list as there is with every single episode i do so you can just go down match the timestamp and download your watch faces from there because searching in the play store sometimes doesn't really work also down in the description you will find our next watch face the room 3d now to say this is a unique watch face would be an understatement and you might be thinking it looks good now but wait till we get into all its features so this one will come as default with your date time battery life steps and heart rate all the essentials really but it comes with a ton of customization options along with its own ui which makes it so much easier to customize so firstly, you can double tap on the right hand side of the cube to switch the orientation of the faces like so. Tapping on the left face will alternate between several different color options. And what I really like about these is they're not just solid colors. Some of them have slight gradients to them as well, which give them a more sleek, modern look. And then lastly, tapping at the bottom of the face will change the color of the inside of the cube. And there's a couple of options to choose from there as well. You can also tap in the center of the watch face to bring up the user interface, but you can have several options. First being the time format, second permission, a third the option to switch between the starry sky and black background for the cube and then lastly you can actually set your steps goals as well which i thought was a really nice touch and something i've not seen much of on other watch faces before again you can grab this one using the links down in the description i believe this one came in at under a dollar and it even has a free trial mode so you can try it out before you buy it but we are not done yet we do have our next watch face which is the minimal digital sport re51 this one is from the same developer as the re53 Although similar, I thought it definitely deserved a spot in our list, mainly because the developer has a really good eye for design in my opinion. The watch faces are highly customizable and again, because they are largely set on black backgrounds paired with a minimal design, it does help save on a bit of battery life. Anyway, this one does come with your steps, battery life, weather, date, time and battery life by default. And of course we have over 20 different color combinations as we did with the last one to really make it your own. You also have the reminder tab at the top top there and I have to say I really like the use of negative space on this watch face. I think it looks really sporty, modern and very clean and I'm especially loving the pastel gold color. That's not 
something we often see on watch faces and a personal favorite of mine. Before we move on, it is worth pointing out that we do have an always on display option available as well, which just helps keep things nice and simple and helps save on a bit of battery life if you do like to keep your always on display option triggered on. Now it wouldn't be a watch face episode without a feature from S4U. This is the Styles for You Phoenix luxury watch face and I'm very certain it'll be making a regular appearance on my Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra when it finally does arrive. As usual, you can expect the very best quality and tons of customization options such as nine index colors, 10 wing colors, three watch hand styles, nine inner dial colors, six small hand styles, and several background textures to choose from. All the color combinations look great in my opinion and I like that you can go from an ultra modern, almost sci-fi look to a classic luxury look if you so desire. As far as information display goes, you do get your steps, battery life, heart rate, date, and time in both analog and digital formats. It also has a battery indicator that you can tap and hide as well. Lastly, of course, we do have the always on display option, which actually has three different styles to choose from as well. So the customization features on this one are absolutely wild. An incredible analog watch face and one of the best Galaxy watch faces on the Play Store from one of the best developers in my opinion. Do remember to vote for your favorite Galaxy watch faces of each episode in the comment section or the Discord. But before you do, do consider this, the Simple Pixel watch face. Now, if you are a huge Google fan, the Simple Pixel watch face may just be a really good pick for you. And this one is actually a free Galaxy watch face. But side note, a lot of you ask why I don't feature more free watch faces. And that's simply because watch faces don't tend to stay free, especially not after I post a video and it does moderately well. So really, I just don't want to upset you by saying it's free when actually it's not too free three months down the line. But on the other hand, I do think this one will stay free because it's been free for quite a long time. And to be honest, you actually get a lot of watch face, all things considered. It's very simple as the name suggests, but comes with all the important bits you'd want from a utility based watch face. And it's all displayed in a very minimal Google-esque fashion. With this one, you do get your steps, your weather, date, time, calories burned, watch battery, phone battery, which is an interesting touch, and a couple of different shortcuts to things like your calendar and flashlight. Flashlight, excuse me. If you do like the watch face, you can always upgrade to the premium version, which offers even more customization options when it comes to shortcuts. And then you also get an array of colors to choose from. I believe it also comes with a foam widget as well, which is a really nice touch. Lots of unique additions to this watch face and a perfect choice for Google fans, much like our next one, the H310 Artistic Watch Face. The H310 Artistic Watch Face, this one really caught my eye and it fits into that style that I usually go for. It's super high quality and offers a lot of versatility. I like that it's got that underlying classic luxury look, but it's not trying to be something it's not. It's still a smart watch face with lots of modern, almost futuristic elements to it. The HV10 is also very well equipped when it comes to complications and information displays. It's got your battery life, weather, steps, distance warped, calories burnt, heart rate, date, and of course your time in digital and analog format. Finally, we've got four handy shortcuts at the bottom there to keep things like your messages, phones, alarm and music at your fingertips. Moving on, if you do like to customize your smartwatches, the H310 comes with a plethora of color options. My personal favorite being the green and orange theme, which I think looks really cool on my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, but it'll look even better on the Watch 7 Ultra. Lastly, we do also have an always on display option on this one. This will just help keep things a little bit more simplified and save on a bit of battery if you do like to have that setting switched on. And it'll do so in a sporty modern fashion. And speaking of modern, check out the Destiny 2 watch face. Now I don't think it has any affiliation with the video game, but it does make for a really modern, colorful watch face that's really easy on the eyes. You'll get your steps, weather, heart rate, battery life, and of course your time and date in digital format. You'll also get some really nice color combinations on this one. My personal favorite being the black, white, and red color scheme, which isn't too far from my channel branding colors, to be honest. You'll also get your color options that include a cyan and green option. You can also make the background dark as well if you want to make it a little bit easier to read and potentially help save on some battery life, something I'm sure you can agree is very important on smartwatches these days. Like much of the watch faces featured today, this one does also come with an always on display option to help make further gains on battery life. And speaking of saving on battery life, our next watch face really does dial things back. This is the AD Digital Brief watch face, a traditional looking digital watch face with a modern twist. If simplicity and minimalism is your thing, this might be the perfect pick for you. And with it being based on a darker background, again, it will just help save on that battery life more and more. Despite being rather simple, it does offer a really good amount of information, including your battery life, steps, weather, date, and of course your time in digital format by default. But you can 
can customize these to display the information you want and find what's important to you. A nice touch with this watch face is that you do actually have some really nice color options to flick through. As usual, I quite fancy the orangey red color, but you can let me know which one you preferred out of this one. Aside from the customization options, we do of course have an always on display option that looks great in my opinion. And now interestingly, the developer is currently offering a buy one get one free offer at the time of this video was recorded. So definitely worth checking that out and seeing if it's still available. There will be a link down in the description for you. So we've had a lot of mature, sensible watch faces today, but what about something a little bit fun and different? This is the Time Shifts watch face, a colorful abstract watch face that's loud and despite being abstract, quite easy to read at a glance. Although the time does take up a large portion of the watch face, you do still get your essential information on this one, including your battery life, date and steps. You can also customize to add things like your weather in there if you so desire. As far as customization features go, you will get a selection of color options that I think will all look great on the Galaxy Watch 7 and Watch 7 Ultra, maybe more so on the Watch 7 since the Watch 7 Ultra is a bit more of a luxury, rugged watch. But I think it'll also look great on previous versions if you do like the sporty look. What's really impressed me though is the always on display option. A lot of watch faces just dim what's already there, but this one does change it to an outlined version of the abstract numbers on a black background. I just think it looks really nice, clean and minimal. And it's nice to keep the formation of the original watch face, but actually make something completely different for the AOD display. Remember to comment below if you do like this one. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the others, coming in at around £1.39 in the UK and possibly around $2 if you're in the US. Next though, we do have something a little cheaper, the TKS 05 Borderline, a potential favorite from this episode for me actually, and it's not really my usual style, but due to its clever design, simplicity and minimalism, it's definitely at the top of my list. It comes jam-packed with information, including your battery life, steps, steps goal progress, heart rate, distance traveled, weather, and of course your time and date. Despite being a little bit more busy than some of the other watch faces, it is a battery saver using simple colors on top of a black background again. Really love the way they've put everything into its own little box to subtly separate each complication from the next. And I especially love the font used as well and the circuit light background for the time in the center there. Really modern and sporty and something I've been rocking on my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro for a good while now. Moving on, it does also come with a bunch of color options. I like the black and red version because it sort of matches my channel colors again, but they do also have some really nice combos as well. And some of them even have a subtle color change to the background as well. So you don't always have to have everything on black. This one does have a really nice always on display option, much like the last watch face. They've done something a little bit different and they actually change the design of it. They get rid of all the other bits around the edges and then just minimize it to the time with those nice boxes as well. Next up, we have the KF180 watch face, a digital analog hybrid watch face, with tons going on. Despite having a lot going on, it's been very sensibly designed so not to drain your battery dry. We get battery life, weather, steps, date, and of course your time in digital and analog format, and of course your heart rate there as well. You also have a couple of handy shortcuts to things like your contacts, which you can customize if you so desire. We also have a decent amount of customization options featuring over five different colors to choose from, and you can also switch up some of the shortcuts to suit your needs. We do of course also get an always on display option on this one as well if you are into that. It's a really nice watch face for your Galaxy Watch and to be honest it does look quite realistic as well with the right color settings. Next up though if you do like realistic Galaxy Watch faces do click in the top right or left hand corner of the video now to go to one of our older episodes which has even more watch faces to choose from. For now though I've been Alex this has been Take It Easy thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.